<laughs> I can't blink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I blinked. Hey everyone, we set a goal to get more shoe care videos for you once a week. And today we're gonna jump into 10 tips to keep your shoes looking fresh. About six months ago, I did a vlog post on this and now I wanna do a quick video just to show you what I mean and uh, a little bit more digestible for you. So the first tip, number one, when you have a leather soled shoe, you do not want to wear it in the rain and snow. Today it's snowing like crazy and I wore rubber soled boots today because leather soles, it, it's lots of layers of leather compressed together and leather is porous and so when it gets wet, it can get in between the layers and it can cause them to warp a bit, which can cause, it just causes the sole to deteriorate. So despite them having these rubber, insole, rubber inserts, if it's a leather soled shoe, wear it on the dry days if it's raining or snowing or you know you're gonna get a little bit wet, uh, wear a rubber-soled shoe or boot and that will, that will definitely help prolong the life of your shoes and make sure you don't wear through the sole too quickly. Also, when it's wet, it gets soft and it, and it, uh, it gets worn through much more quickly. So just be aware of that. Number one, do not wear leather-soled shoes in the rain and the snow. Number two, when you're putting your shoes on or taking them off, use the laces. Uh, like when you're younger, you kind of just like step on the heel and force your foot out of the shoe. But these are nice expensive shoes and uh, unlacing them, getting them real nice and loose to get your foot in there. And when you're undoing them, don't just like force them off, unlace them, take, the, take a second or two to unlace them, uh, loosen them up, just because it puts a lot of stress on the boot uh, or the shoe when you do that. And uh, you just want to keep them looking nice, keep the structure really nice and how it's supposed to be. And so just number two, use the laces. Number three, if you are someone that perpetually wears through your shoes really fast, if you're, if you're walking a lot, if you're standing, you know, if you're in a high paced job and you typically wear through your shoes really fast, as soon as you get a new pair of shoes, take them to the cobbler and get something called uh, topi or caps. It's basically just rubber that you can put on top of the leather sole to just extend the life of the sole that much longer. Um, and if, if, uh, if you're like me, you wear through shoes really fast and that will buy you some extra time. It's much cheaper than a resole and so it's a, it's a good investment, 20 or $30, have the taps put on there and it will extend the life of your sole for, for a, a lot longer. Uh, so that's number three. Number four, today it's, it's really wet outside for us here in Utah and so our shoes are gonna get wet a little bit. Never use external heat sources uh, to dry your shoes more quickly. Like if, you, if your shoes get wet, regardless of what brand they are, never put your shoes, leather by external heat sources uh, can really damage the leather. Leather is skin, just like our skin. If, you, if, you, if we're out in the sun all day, it gets burned, it gets hot, it gets cracked. Uh, it's just not good for it. And so don't, if your shoes are wet, don't leave them by the fire. Don't put them by the heater. Um, it will damage the leather. It's not, it will crack, it will dry out. Uh, it's not supposed to be that way. So if your shoes are wet, just let them dry in room temperature. Give them the time that they need to be dry completely um, rather than using some sort of, some form of heat to accelerate the drying process. Number five. Okay, this is a huge one. These are shoe trees you need to use them. When you're spending, you know, two, three hundred dollars on a pair of shoes, you want to keep them nice. And a huge way to do so is with shoe trees, cedar shoe trees. They absorb moisture, they're antibacterial, um, and they, they provide great structure for the shoe. They avoid creasing. Uh, it really helps with creasing, stretches out the shoe, maintains the integrity of the structure. It's just, I mean, if you do one thing from this video, use shoe trees. I just get, uh, I mean, these are Taft. But in the past, uh, I've just gone to Nordstrom Rack, pick up a pair or two for 20 bucks. You can find good sales online. Uh, Woodlore has some really killer sales a few times a year. Um, use shoe trees, preferably cedar shoe trees with the spring toe and, and the spring here to adjust. It really keeps the toe box really nice, keeps the structure of the length nice. Use shoe trees. It will, if you do one thing, this will be the biggest difference for you. Use shoe trees. Number six, do not wear the same pair of shoes day after day after day after day. Leather is meant <clears throat> to, leather needs to rest. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> leather needs to rest. And so when you wear the same pair of shoes over and over and over, it really causes them to wear through much more quickly than they should. And so rotate through your shoes 
Uh, try and develop a, a small collection if you're, if you're able so that you can give your shoes a break. They're not meant to be worn day after day. And so ideally, you can wear a pair of shoes and let them rest with shoe trees dry in, in room temperature for about 24 hours and then you can wear them again. Number seven, this is a simple one. It, it seems pretty elementary. It seems like something I teach my, my four-year-old son. So when you're putting your shoe on or off, or putting it on or taking it off, use two hands. Sometimes we'll see people grab the tongue and just shove their foot in there or just grab the, grab the pull tab and just shove their foot in there. That puts a ton of stress. I mean, these are really strong, but we see people rip them because they're just putting, putting their finger in the pull tab, shoving their foot in and eventually causing that pull tab to rip. If you're using two hands, both on the tongue and the pull tab, uh, it, it, it will make sure that the boot doesn't kind of collapse as you just like shove your foot in there. Um, and it, it, it'll just keep your shoes looking nice. Also, all of our shoes, uh, all of our products ship with a free shoehorn. So this shoehorn, I'm not sure if, uh, if everyone knows how to use it, but you basically put it right here. If, if your shoes are tight, it will really make it much easier to get them to get your shoes in. That way you're not forcing your foot and you're really putting a lot of stress and tension on the upper. Use the shoehorn, we give it to you for free. Um, it, some people, you know, if you buy multiple pairs, you have multiple shoehorns. Use them if you can. Free shoehorn, highly recommend using it. That's why we send it. It will help, so use it. Number eight, newspaper. So if your shoes ever get wet, take some newspaper, bundle it up, and shove it in the toes. Just shove it in there, fill it up. Newspaper's super porous, it absorbs moisture really well, and you don't wanna let the moisture from the outside of the shoe soak in. That's, that newspaper will be there to catch it, absorb it, and make sure that it doesn't become uh, something that can cause mold, um, cause problems with the, with the insole. So just save the newspaper, have a newspaper handy, uh, especially if you're in, in wetter climates. Rubber soles, so I st this is a size 47 shoe. Um, freaking huge. This is from one of our employees, Marshall. Uh, I took it from him, he's working with one shoe right now. Um, but what I wanted to show was that my, my secret sauce for cleaning rubber soles, everyone asks like, what can you do? Um, it, rubber soles are really durable, they're really great, but they do gather uh, dirt and blemishes and discoloration. And so for me, I just use these like Lysol wipes or these uh, Kirtland Signature Costco, shout out to Costco. Um, disinfecting wipes. They have a little bit of texture. And if you're careful and you just, if you just run this along the sole, I mean, Marshalls are like brand new, but like, if you look, you can see a little bit of brown and like this just like, it's amazing. You can get the sole looking perfect again. Um, it, it's just, it has a, it has like little beads, a little bit of texture, Lysol wipe. Uh, it won't harm the rubber at all. It's just amazing. Um, be careful not to get it on the leather. Uh, I mean, don't you don't have to like tape it off or anything, but just be aware. I'm sure there's like crazy chemicals in here that you wouldn't want on leather. But if you if you keep it to just the sole, you can get your sole just with a quick wipe down. You can get your sole back to looking new. So, Lysol disinfecting wipes or these Kirkland Signature uh, knockoff wipes do a great job and that's how I that's how I keep my rubber soles looking fresh and I would highly recommend it. Uh, the last tip, this is a horsehair brush. Uh, they're cheap, they're available pretty much anywhere, CVS, Walgreens, uh, any grocery store really has them. I would recommend wiping down your shoes almost after everywhere. If you just keep this by your closet and every, every day, just wipe down your shoes real fast before you put shoe trees in them and put them in your closet, it will just help uh, avoid buildup, it gets the dust off. We don't think about it, you know, the shoe looks clean, but all day dust is falling on it and, and you just wanna wipe it down real fast and it will keep it a little bit more polished, more vibrant, brighter, it will look nicer and it's good for the leather. So guys, that's 10 tips to keep your shoes fresh with, with little effort. Um, these are things that I do. I know that they work on tap shoes specifically. All of these things will really, really help. I would highly recommend them. Check below, I also put, I, I listed the 10 of them in the comments. Check that out if you don't wanna watch the whole thing. It's real quick, 10 quick bullet points to help you. Uh, I know they work. Thank you, we're gonna keep these shoe care videos coming. Uh, next week we're gonna do a suede care video. A lot of people have our Chelsea boots, which we typically offer in suede. And so I know that suede is something that people 
think is super high maintenance, really difficult, and even some people avoid it. So I'll show you how next week to care for suede shoes. Thank you for watching and thank you for wearing Taft.